Cave One. Sorry, I've been uploading in a while. I was sick today and uh, I couldn't upload. So we're just gonna upload right now with a. It was just a quick little story. I don't know how long this video will be. Now, this is something that happened to me in fifth grade, okay? Fifth goddamn grade, last year. And, you know, I mean, I don't really look that different. It's not like I've fucking grown a beard in the year that I've not been there. In the year after I left. Anyway, like I said, I'm, I was um, with a group of people more popular than me because I ain't a very popular person. And uh, anyway, I was hanging out with a bunch of popular people. You know, just a bunch of more popular kids than me. And one of these people is called, um, this is not their real name, but this is called Harry. See, Harry, he's uh, not exactly the nicest kid around. He's kind of an asshole sometimes. So I, I was just with this group of fucking, you know, there were a lot of people behind me. We were just fucking about having some fun, you know. And. You know, I was talking to this girl. Um, I'm not gonna just make up a name. So, and see, Harry, Harry was he he was he had the great idea, the golden idea of fucking. Attacking me, he jumps on my goddamn back, and I'm fucking like a triggered feminist up in there. And you know, I don't understand why he does it, and I to this day I don't know fucking know. He just went full fucking psychopath on. He, he just fucking unloads on this shit. He like gets fucking triggered. I don't understand why. So I'm I'm trying to guess what fucking mindset he was in when he attacked me. This is not like a fucking shank or anything. It's just I'm trying to. I guess he was thinking. Oh, I thought I was doing something. To it. I'm fucking know. Even though I wasn't even like fucking, I was just talking to her. Like I'm legit not being a prick. You know, I kind of am a fucking cunt. I'm just doing this, and everyone fucking just everyone stops what they're doing and they look at us. We're still fighting. He backs me up into a corner. I'm forced to fight back. I have no goddamn choice but to fight this asshole and not get my ass beat. Now, quick little side note here. I think some most of the school rules are fucking stupid, and even if you break a rule, it doesn't matter what, in what circumstance, you are fucked, mate. You will get detention straight away. So, you know, I've got this problem on my hands, I would call it a fucking, I wouldn't call it anything more than a just a fucking, just a fucking issue, just a prank bro. Everyone was just fucking there, uh, chewing people on like, because that's what 5th and 6th graders do when it happens, where they A, fuck off and don't get involved, or B, you just chant on, enjoy the fucking violence in happening right in front of your fucking face, which you have the power to while some kid is getting fucking beaten to fucking death while you're watching there with your fucking keen star pop on smiling <laughs> sm 
smiling and going, what is up Trauma fucking nation, I'm your host, killer faggot. Let's get right into the fucking news. King Cunt fights Captain Psycho, big shit. Like, every time I've been in a goddamn fight, I don't really take it too fucking seriously. Wait. You, well, it's usually not, it's not usually fucking WWE shit. I mean, Jesus Christ, if it was, that'd be pretty entertaining shit for people to watch. I mean, I actually have been in a fight recently, which was fucking more my fault than this one. So, he, we, because we're under, in like, a, I would say, kind of like a roof. That's where you go under when it rains and they tell you to go under the thing. We were just by a uh, small cabin. He gets me onto the actual yard, which is right next to it, and we start pounding it. We start fucking getting a bot. We start, you know, fucking fisting it out. Roasting each other. You know, fucking scaring each other, it's fucking keem starring each other, fucking killing each other. You know, like it. I'm like, I stop midway fight, mid fight, whatever fucking say. And I say, you know what? I don't want to fight. Um, can we just stop? Like, <laughs> somebody might call me a fucking pussy. But I don't care. I'd rather, I'd much rather just get in trouble. Could, I'd rather just rather been seen as a pussy than actually fucking get detention. Now, this put now we carry on fighting for a couple minutes. The teacher finds us, you know, fucking fisting each other. That fucking sounds gay. You know, duking each other fucking out and. She probably thinks, whoa, oh, holy shit, oh my god, I better take these two to the fucking po-po. That's not what happens, but I'll just, basically we got, she brings us straight to the headmaster. Now, I'm, I'm not taking this well, and he's certainly just, because he usually gets like a load of fucking detentions. So he's not really fucked up at the idea. Like, this is not new to him. I know some kids who never get in trouble. And when they get shouted at once, they just fucking burst into tears. Which is really fucking funny for me for some reason. Anyway. So he brings us to the principal or headmaster, depending on what you want to call it. I'll just be calling them fucking headmaster for this winner of this um gameplay. So you know I play what is called the sympathy card and I fucking burst into tears. Tell him what you did he I said like fucking cornered me. Now you may have thought if you actually were there you may have thought I was I was like fucking scared. And that is a way to get like a few more a more percentage of sympathy from the headmaster than the other one. Burst into tears and act like a pussy. Because that shows that you... That you're scared and you... I don't, I don't fucking know it works. I, I, I fucking know. T teachers are dumb. And... You know, he believes me. He says, even if I didn't cry, I would have fucking won. The presidential day, you know... I don't fucking know the, the interrogation, the court, fucking thing. I don't fucking know. We see we all get, you both get fucking interrogated like shit. I win. Then we take it to my actual fifth grade teacher. I'm gonna make Nick a, a fucking nickname. She'll be called Miss. Becky, I think. I'll just call her Miss Becky. No, fucking... Miss Claus. 
because it's getting near close to Christmas now. See, Mrs. Miss Claus was a very nice teacher, and she, I told her the exact same story, you know, and she believed me. Because this was on Thursday, the d if you get a detention, because, uh, no, it's on Friday. When you get a detention on Friday, because on Friday we have a thing at the end of the court, basically it's called Golden Time, and we do a bunch of activities. Uh, usually outdoor activities. And when the, uh, Harry goes to detention, and the detention teacher's there, I'm not going to give her a name because she's not. Well, she's kind of a major. Miss Robinson. Mrs. Robinson, there we go. Just, a, a, that's going to be her nickname. Now, Mrs. Robinson's detention teacher, she's quite strict, and she. I would say. Really, just she's really strict, and she can tell lies apart from this one because she didn't fucking get it. Basically, when you go to detention, you, you kind of have to say what you've done, and put and they put it in the folder. And, and when you get parents, and then they say you've your son's got son slash daughter's got this many got this many detentions throughout the year. And this person, I think he's on his seventh detention, which is actually pretty bad for because usually there's people in my class who never got in trouble with fucking anything because they never do anything, you know, fucking cool or funny. They don't take goddamn risks. Basically, they're the stereotypical fucking pussy get straight A's and he puts it in, she asks um, Harry what he did now little um, Harry the cunt here says he didn't do anything which is absolute bullshit by the way because of course you fucking did and then you attacked me cunt and when we're doing the activities obviously we um, we fucking she comes in, the, this is really confused, she comes in with little Harry, the magical fuck boy, and this is confused, she asks what's wrong, and apparently I lied about the fight, and I started it, and I, apparently he played the fucking victim card on me, and, and acted like he was the one who, who was trying to defend himself in this situation, and, when I'm at the point where I said, I said stop the fight, when, because he's a more popular kid, they lied for him, and said he wanted to stop the fight, but I just carried on fighting. So, because he's more po that's why more popular kids get fucking sympathy from, if they have, even if they have friends that are more popular. And you get in the fucking court. It's just fucking game over, man. It's game over. So what the fuck are we gonna do now? And this is literally the mindset, man. I'm like, this is this is fucking cuntish. So we get a few people on. They fucking lie for him. You know the usual. And I have to go down to detention for not fucking doing a thing. And I and I try to say in detention that I didn't do anything. But they said, no, you fucking lied, cunt. You fucking lied, cunt. I can't just fucking believe it anymore. I, I'm just here. Defending myself. Cunts. If you get more attention than me, then you probably get fucking pussy in your fucking life, bro. So. So, basically. Well, I get detention, I tell my mum and dad, they're not too fucking bothered. And, obviously they believe me. I got, actually, my friends actually believe me because they were there as well. So, that's cool, I guess. Anyway, I guess it'll be the end of the video. 
if you want more videos like this, also sorry for like, anyway, if you want more videos like this, you know, just life stories, maybe commentaries, maybe just me stating my opinion on shit, then we, if we hit 10 likes on this video, then I will. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment, boss, and goodbye.